Hello guys, welcome back to class. Today we're going to continue with the second part of the topic of indeterminate pronouns. Something really easy, as you remember the last class we saw the ones of the ones, I mean we saw the ones that were referring to a person. So in this case, yesterday we saw um, some somebody, anybody, and nobody. In this case it's going to be different because we are going to be referring to an object or to a thing that is not a specific. Or, yeah, as simple as that. So let's start first of all with the words that we have to learn. In this case, we have three words in total. Remember, we are referring in this case to an object or to a thing that is not a specific. So something really easy, as I was telling you, we have the word something, we have the word anything, and we have the word nothing. It's basically the same rules, but in this case, we are referring to an object or to a thing that is not a specific. So I'm going to give an example so you guys can understand a little bit better. In this case, we have Mariana has something very important to tell you. Yes, as you guys can see, it is referring to a message. Basically, a message is an object or a thing. Or a thing. So you don't know what is it in, in I mean, like that. So. Um, as you guys can see, this one is an affirmation. We have the, the sentence in affirmation, that's why we are using something. Yes, because we are referring to an object and you don't know what is it. So, in this case, let's continue with the second one. The second one is going to be anything. And if you remember, anything is, is used in negative form. So, that one we are saying, um, I don't know anything about the exam please help me please help me tell me the answers okay so as you guys can see this one is a negative form don't and we are using anything so you don't know any of the answers of the exam and as you remember these two are basically the same word but we use it in a different way so if you want to say something really similar like that it will be like this he has nothing to tell you. He already told you everything. Yes? So, as simple as that. Remember, it could be confusing at, between these two. Why? Because basically the complement is going to tell you the answer. If it's telling you that you have you don't know what is it it's going to be nothing so if you know what is it it's going to be something as simple as that okay so if you have any questions or anything that you would like to ask me just let me know by sending me a message and i'll see you guys later have a nice day